top story. Chicago Police Superintendent Larry Snellen and Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox are now speaking about this weekend's mass shooting in North Lawndale. Let's listen in. 24th Ward Alderman Monique Scott and Congressman Danny Davis. Chief of Detectives Antoinette Arcity, Chief of Patrol Brian McDermott, Area 4 Deputy Chief Ednardo Gutierrez, 10th District Commander William Betancourt, and Director of Community Policing Glenn Brooks are also standing here with us. We're here to announce charges in the shooting this weekend in North Lawndale that left 15 people injured at a Halloween party. 48-year-old William Groves has been charged with 15 counts of attempted first-degree murder, 15 felony counts of aggravated battery with discharge of a firearm, one felony count of aggravated unlawful use of a weapon by a felon, one felony count of aggravated discharge of a firearm in an occupied building. Groves was identified as the individual who was removed from the party that night and came back to the gathering and began shooting into the crowd shortly after 1 a.m. Sunday morning. He's a convicted felon who shouldn't have had a gun. Again, he's a convicted felon who should not have had a gun. A summary closure has also been ordered for the business where this unsanctioned gathering occurred. I want to thank the 10th District officers who responded to the shooting that night and quickly apprehended this dangerous individual. They were on scene monitoring the location in the area and the hard work, the hard work of those officers in the 10th District and the leadership of Commander Betancourt uh, led to the capture of this individual shortly after the occurrence of the crime. Our detectives, I'd like to thank them for the extremely hard work they did in getting this individual charged. I also have to thank the state's attorney's office, Kim Fox, for the hard work working with our detectives to get this individual charged. Though this arrest brings a measure of justice to the 15 victims and all those who witnessed this violence that night, the trauma remains. I want to focus, and we need to focus, on the victims and support for them moving forward. To everyone affected by the shooting and to our North Lawndale neighbors, we're standing with you. That's why we're here today and that's why you see us all standing here. We know the lasting effect this violence has on our neighborhoods, on our victims and our community members. And we will be here with you as you process this. As a reminder, anyone who was affected by this shooting and needs assistance is encouraged to meet with the crime victim advocates at today's Victim Assistance Center that was set up in response to this shooting. The Assistance Center is open from noon through 7 p.m. at Wyman, located at 1241 South Pulaski, just down the street from where the shooting occurred. Our crime victim advocates are on site and ready to help connect you with resources and support through this healing process. I want to thank the local organizations who are partnering with us to provide resources at this assistance center. I'd lastly like to say this. We talk about working collaboratively together, and we talk about the mayor's focus on the full force of government. That's what you're seeing here today in play, and you see us all standing here together for a community that's been traumatized. Now, this trauma didn't happen just Sunday night. This has been going on for quite some time. We recognize that, and we're going to keep pushing forward to bring justice in these cases. 